Hey, what's up, guys? It's your friend Asian buddy, Ryan. And today is a good day because I got another vape mail. So let's all take a look at what's inside on this package. Bam! So here's the package that I got. And let's open it. So this is what I got. Trilogy RTA. Oxva Origin X. Oxva Replacement Coils. Oxva Unicoil RBA. Oxva 510 Thread Adapter. And the latest BB Vapes brand juice, the FOMO. Mm. Alright, here we go. So let's unbox the Origin Oxva. Look at the packaging. It says Oxva Origin X. Here's the color that I got. Powered by 18650, so it runs by a single 18650 battery. 5 to 60 watts and the coils all right some detail some details over here package contents at the back some warning all right so let's take a look inside oh wow I like the packaging, I like how they pack it. This is looking really nice, you know. Like you're getting some high-end gears, all right? So here is the Oxba. Mmm. Wow, look at that. Looks like a stab wood finish, but I think it's not. I think it's just plastic. Yep, it's just plastic, but still, wow, looking really nice, sexy and elegant, wow, open, so this is where your single 18650 will go, hmm? very nice magnet, looks really strong. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is magnet. It has a really, really strong magnet. All right, got no complaints so far. I'm loving every single thing in here. This is um, another accessory that I got. Um, a 510 thread adapter. So with this adapter, it looks like any single 18650 mod but it's smaller and more sexier and it can fit up to 22 mm atomizers so wow yep look at that I'm already loving it I'm not even using it yet still the magnet is pretty strong on this one just clicks right in no problem. I did not get their RDTA adapter because if I already can put a tank on it, then why do I need it for? So the 510 adapter isn't spring loaded. It just stays right there. There's not a spring or anything. So the pad tank is bottom fill big chunky juice hole over there and the coil yep it's easy to remove so i have here is the 0 0.2 ohm 55 to 60 watts i don't think i'll be using this one so in your packaging you you will get an extra coil Here you go. So this is a one ohm coil. 
that can run around 10 to 50 watt, 10 to 15 watts. I think this is the one that I'll be using. So it's very easy. Just have to remove this and just pour it right there. Really simple. I like it. And then adjust your airflow right here. I want it to be more of like mouth to long. Yep, so maybe right around this big. Alright, let's put on some juice. I'll be using the BB Vapes brand. Their new release juice, the FOMO. Here you go. Let that sit in for a few minutes, maybe around 10 to 15 minutes. We'll do some size comparison first. Alright, so I got the Vaporeso Armor Pro, the Origin Oxva, the Aspire Breeze 2, Series B by Jack Vapor. I already made a review on this mod. See the link on the top side. So as you can see, it is not a small mod. It is quite a big AIO device. As you can see, it's the biggest of all the mods in here. This one is a 21700. And see how tall the origin the origin Oxva is. The Aspire Breeze. So the Aspire Breeze has um has a built-in battery inside it. Alright, so the Series B and the Origin X is almost at the same width but different height. Yep, this is a little bit on the tall side because as you can see this is where you're gonna put your pad tank. But still, they're almost as slim together. So your battery goes negative up, positive down. It's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can already tell, right? So here you go. Battery door pops, pops back instantly. Perfect. So to adjust your wattage, just press this middle button right here. Alright, and when you've reached 60, it will say power max. Then click it, then click the middle button again. Alright, then it goes round robin. Very easy. And when you click the far button and the middle button right here, it's gonna say puff clear. Yep, so not much of you know um, stops in there. Really, really basic. Really easy to use. And that's it for this device. So there you have it, the Oxva Origin X. Look at that. Looking really sexy with those fake stab wood design, <laughs> but I love it. I have it at. 10 watts, 10, I don't know if you guys can see it, I have it at 10 watts at 1.06 ohms, let's have a vape. Mm -hmm. 10 watts. Well, I have some cons to mention about this mod. Yeah, we'll talk about this mod right now. Uh, my thoughts on this mod. I have two cons to mention about this mod. The first con would be there's no way to power up or down your device. But right now, you have it at 10 watts. I wanted to lower it down to just 8 or something like that. And to do that, I have to go round robin. I have to reach the 60. And then set it up to the wattage that I like. So it really sucks. It goes round robin fast, but still, that's a con that I need to mention. It is much better to have a power down or power up on this device. And the next con would be I don't know. 
if they made the 1.0 ohm coil a multi lung coil but i'm not really getting a multi lung hit on this one it's more of a restrictive direct lung hit i don't know if they designed it for multi lung or restrictive direct lung but still it's still the flavor is so nice but this is not a multi lung hit For me, it's a restrictive direct lung. Nothing more. That's it. I only have two cons. Well, let's talk about pros. The accessories. My God. I've been looking at this kind of pod for a while now. The one where I could put my MTL tanks on it. Or any tanks. I think you could put any sub -ohm tanks in here as well. You have those RBA. You also have those RDTA decks, which I didn't order. Because what is the point, right? I would... I can just put my MTL tank. I don't need another RBT, RDTA deck. The pod, the pod is great. Look. Yep, the magnets on this mod are really, really strong. You don't have to worry about this, um, the magnets on here falling down. It is really, really strong. The magnets on the pod, the magnets on the barrier door, it is really strong. Zip, no problem. On the pod, no problem. Another pros would be the looks, of course. I am really loving this version. I really, really like it. Looks like a stab wood or something. It is really easy to use. It feels great in the hands. It uses single eight and 650. So that's a pro. USB type C, pro. Overall, this is a great mod. And if I'm going to rate this mod, I would probably give it um, an 8. I haven't really used it on my any MTL tanks yet, but it's still going to be the same. It uses a single 8 and 650. It fires great. You can adjust your wattage. Still a pro. And the only thing I need to know is how it's going to vape. And it vapes really great. The pad tank is great. The coils are great. Aside from the cons that I mentioned. They're all pros. Take another puff. Really awesome device. If you're in Canada, eCigarettes.ca still have them in for like $50. And they have them in all different colors. Yep, that's basically it. So, don't forget to like if you like this video and comment down below on what you want me to review next and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.